Did you know the United States Department of Agriculture estimates that between 30 to 40 percent of the United States food supply ends up as food waste? Annually, this corresponds to approximately 133 billion pounds of food valued at $161 billion. That's a tremendous amount of wasted food that could have fed a lot of hungry people. The consequences of wasting that much food are vast. Think about all the resources that go into managing farmland. All the labor and inputs needed to grow and harvest the food, like water, soil amendments, and fertilizer. Then there's sorting, storage, and transporting the food to markets and grocery stores. That's additional gasoline and electricity needed just to get the food to consumers. Unfortunately, food waste is the single most common material landfilled in the United States. When disposed of in the landfill, food waste not only reduces the life of the landfill, but it decomposes without the presence of oxygen, or anaerobically, and releases greenhouse gases, which contributes to climate change. Due to all of the negative impacts of wasting food, the United States federal government has set the goal of reducing food waste by half by 2030. The United Nations has also recognized the importance of reducing food waste, as we can see with their Sustainable Development Goal number 12, Responsible Production and Consumption. One of Goal 12's targets is by 2030 to cut per capita global food waste in half at the retail and consumer levels and reduce food losses along production and supply chains, including post-harvest losses. Here at NC State, the university's sustainability strategic plan has set the goal of diverting 70% of the university's municipal solid waste away from the landfill. While food waste is not targeted specifically in the goal, it certainly plays a large role in striving towards 70% diversion. The last comprehensive, university-wide waste audit that was completed revealed that 38% of what was being sent to the landfill was actually compostable, and overall, 23% was food waste. That 23% equates to an estimated 1,619,489 annual pounds. A more recent waste audit that was done on a smaller scale showed that 21% of waste going to the landfill was food waste. Looking at the Environmental Protection Agency's food recovery hierarchy, source reduction is the first step that should be taken to reduce food waste. The dining halls on campus work hard to minimize food waste and utilize a specialized software program that allows them to forecast what they need to purchase to build specific recipes and menus for each four-week cycle of the semester. By inputting real data into the software after each meal service, the software will refine what needs to be purchased and produced for the next meal. Dining also cooks in small batches for each meal service, which allows them to not overproduce. If more food is needed, they can quickly cook up another batch. The goal is to use as much as possible without having anything left. While dining is doing their part to reduce food waste, your help is also needed. Please only take as much food as you will eat so nothing goes to waste. The second most preferred method for reducing food waste is feeding hungry people. Here at NC State, we have a student-led food recovery network that collects unused food and delivers it to those in need. Prepared food that has not been served is collected and typically taken to shelters in downtown Raleigh. Before closing down at the end of the semester, or before the long winter break, the dining halls will send cases, or partial cases, of produce to the on-campus Feed the Pack food pantry. At the pantry, the produce is packaged into smaller portions and made available to help with the food needs of members of the NC State community. As we continue to move through the food recovery hierarchy, we come to composting. For unavoidable food waste, it's important to properly sort it to make sure it goes into the compost collections. Compost collections can be found at a growing number of locations across campus, with one of the most prominent being the Tally Student Union. Compost collections can also be found at dining halls, residence halls, academic buildings, greenhouses, and at every Wolfpack football game at Carter-Finley Stadium. As I mentioned, it's important to properly sort your waste. Look for signage and colors to identify what goes where. Landfill is associated with gray, recycling with blue, and compost with green. Anything that goes into the compost collections will be transported to NC State's on-campus compost facility and research cooperative, which is located at the Lake Wheeler Field Labs. NC State is a leader in organic waste management and in a unique position where we have our own on-campus composting facility.
An aerated static pile composting method is used to compost the organic waste from campus. In as little as four to five months, a high quality compost product is produced and ready to be utilized. All of the compost produced at the facility stays on campus, with the majority utilized in the campus landscape and at the Agroecology Education Farm to grow produce for the dining halls. This closes the loop with organic waste at NC State. One of the things that every person on campus has in common is that we all produce waste. Everyone plays an important role in food waste reduction and overall waste diversion. To learn more about how to sort your waste and strive towards zero waste, Take the Zero Waste NC State training in Reporter. And if you've ever wondered what a large-scale composting facility looks like and how NC State's organic waste is transformed into a valuable resource, be sure to watch Matt Ball's presentation for an in-depth look at our operations.